everyone this is Elaine and thanks for coming back to my channel I am today going to show you my newest design team project for Sweet Pea Curiosities as you know I love her digitals and that's just about all I've been playing with lately um, the two sets that I got this time were 1920s ephemera and mixed media um, pictures and papers so I got a little bit of a hot mess here I know that but I wanted to show you kind of what I did one thing that I think most of us will do is we will um, I'm looking for a particular thing and I'm not finding it okay I see it um, what we will do is we will have some things ready to go like we might have some tags that we've cut and just put book pages on it so that then when we do find something that we want to play with we kind of already have our base um, for me that helps get me motivated so what I have is I had some playing cards that I guess I picked up at a thrift store and when I got them I didn't realize that they had the corners cut off of them I guess that's from the casino and they didn't want those cards put back into play and that's what they do so my cards all have their corners cut off which okay no big deal us junk journalers and scrappers and everything we like that kind of stuff but I wanted to show you real quick what I did just on the cards again these are um, things that I have cut out all of the papers are from Sweet Pea Curiosities except for the book pages and some of the music paper but if there's any other kind of background on there it is from Sweet Pea Curiosities um, so there's a couple of them and then here's another pretty simple one I did um, this one I did sideways and again you know nothing real real fancy but something that now I will put just plain book paper excuse me coffee stained or tea stained paper on the back of this and now we've got a little place to write um, this is a piece of textured wallpaper and in this case I just took some wax and I just smeared it back up under the um, little cog and these are actually plastic I found them in the sewing section at Walmart and I got a whole big box of them all different sizes so I was tickled with that find but all of the background papers are Sweet Pea Curiosity as well. And let me go ahead and show you. Now this one I've ripped up pretty good. Um, and the other thing that I do is her papers, these come, when she puts them up as a digital, this is one full 8.5 by 11 page. I, I like to resize things. The same with all of these pictures. They come to you bigger and then I resize them. So here are just some of the um, plain papers. Here's one. This was the whole page. And I just thought that they would be good to use as background papers. These are probably actually what I'm going to put on the back of the um, cards. And here's one where she already kind of did the mixed media to it. Alrighty. Excuse me. I have the sniffles a little bit here and I hate it. Um, but anyhow, so then I did some of the tags. And this is just an, um, a piece of embossing paper that I had had. I had embossed on it a while back, and it's another one of those things. I'll sit and do a bunch of them and throw them in a box. This is a poker chip. I have seen some people take the poker chips and make little journals out of them. I don't quite have that much patience, but it does pop on here. So I added some um, gold wax around it and put her up on there. And I might go back around again and touch it up a little bit. But isn't that tag cute? Pretty simple. Again, you know, plain on the back for the most part, the bookmark. I can add maybe a plain piece here to, you know, a place then that you can write. And here again, this is another one of the papers from um, Sweet Pea Curiosities that I had from a while back. And I actually did it on one of the cards, so it adds a little bit of depth to it. This is some gray wax. This is a little piece of that embossed um, wallpaper. And then this is one of her book papers there. I think it's actually a piece of this one. 
And so you can see after resizing. So what I'm going to do here real quick, remember now I did get two of the digital kits. So just real quick, I'm going to um, lay these out there so you can see the pictures. And they are the cutest children. I said that I would have a lot of fun with these. And what I've also been thinking about with all of these cute little pictures is going back in some of the journals that I say that I have finished <laughs> and, um, and adding them. Here's another one where I used one of her papers in the back. So um, that one's ready to go. And then here, these are like um, 1920s cars and um, some architecture. And you can see the people. And I'm sorry the papers are curled up on me. I, I left them out. But isn't that cute? I, I just really like them. These are different than anything that I've been seeing around. And, um, and so I just couldn't resist. And again, I resized them because I knew that I was going to be using these on playing tag. I mean, playing tags. Listen to me. Playing cards and tags. Look at that one. I love doggies. Um, so here's a room and a house. I just, I just, I just think that they're going to come in handy. You know, I have a lot of blueprints. We all know that I have blueprints in my Etsy shop. So I think some of these will be um, adorable. Add it to a page where it's been a blueprint. And uh, yeah, so just about there. But I did print out, I think the majority of them. I, I may not have done all of them. But you get the idea. So pop on over to Sweet Pea Curiosities and check out her digitals. I tell you, you will not be disappointed. You won't be. There, She just does great ones. So with that being said, I want to put up a video. I'm going to usually do it on Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. You can find me on Facebook. I have a group and a page and a private Facebook I do a little on Instagram, Twitter, and I have a Pinterest so you can see what I follow. And I do have a small Etsy shop, not a whole lot in it, but I have some things that I think you might like. So with that being said, I do appreciate you very much and come back and see me. I appreciate your time in my little video here. So I will catch you going down the road. Bye.